Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I have a super quick tutorial on how to get all four different types of the new ray guns plus the secret ray gun pack punch ray gun case on top on the second floor of Rushmore and that's at the very end. So in this tutorial there will be a few different sections for depending on which type of gun ray gun you'll want. On the screen there will be different timestamps for different types of ray gun depending on which one you want so you can just skip ahead to that timestamp. But before we start actually building the ray gun, we need to grab the pieces for the buildable station to even craft the different types of ray guns. The first piece location for the craftable is inside the yellow house downstairs on this table. If it's not there, go ahead and turn around and go upstairs and it should be on this shelf. If it is not on this shelf, go ahead and turn left through this door and immediately left underneath this lamp. It should be laying there and that's the wire. The next two pieces will be underground inside of the bunker. So from behind the orange house down to the storage area, you want to make a right and look on this barrel. It'll be sitting up there. If it's not up there, go ahead and follow all the way around and look at the shelf up by the food. If it's not there, go ahead and go further, turn right down to the stairs and it'll be on the back furthest barrel. Then what you want to do is go ahead and turn to the right door and head to solitary and APD control. The first piece location will be on this desk in front of the mannequin. The next location will be down the stairs in the APD control room and take a right on this chair. And the next location will be all the way back around in this control panel room area on this metal tray. Now all you have to do is go back to the Rushmore and craft the piece on the crafting station above on the second floor. Now there's one last thing before you start getting ray guns. You're going to want to go to these different TVs and fill them up with souls. Each TV will be glowing blue and staticky and you will have to hold interact on it. It'll have a ray gun on the TV and you'll be able to get souls, fill it up. And once it is done getting souls, it'll display a number and you'll want to write that down in the order you get them. So obviously the first location is in the backyard of the yellow house. Second location will be by the APD control. The next location will be down in the diner. And the last location will be at the site entrance. Once you filled them all up and wrote down the numbers in the order that you filled up the, the monitors, the TVs, you want to go to Rushmore and input the code that you got inside of the keypad and activate it. And once you turn around, you will see this case open with a whole bunch of ray gun chassis. So every time you want to build a new ray gun, what you're going to want to do is pick up a chassis and if you have already built a ray gun previously, you want to put that ray gun down inside the case and grab a new chassis. Let's go ahead and start off with the explosive ray gun. So in order to get the explosive ray gun, you're going to need a double pack punch weapon with brain rot on it. Now once you have the pack punch weapon with brain rot on it, you're gonna wanna make your you want you're gonna wanna make your way back up above the ground and look for these dirt piles with green smoke from it. There's gonna be three different locations. The first location is behind the yellow house, second location is behind the green house, and the third and last location out in the main street behind this lamp. So what you're going to want to do with this dirt pile is you're going to want to go ahead and stand behind it or stand in front of it and get a brain rotted zombie to turn on top of the pile. Once the zombie has turned on top of the pile, what you will see is this light come out of the ground. What you're going to want to do is watch it and make note of where it went. But before you go and look for it, what you're going to need to do is build the telepads. There'll be a link in the top right corner of the screen for the tutorial playlist for all of the Black Ops 4 tutorials and the telepad will be near the very bottom of the tutorial playlist. So once you have the telepads active, don't place them down anywhere else and if you already had them in the map and place them down, go ahead and pick them both up. So what you want to do now that you have the telepads is go to wherever the orb went. Go to wherever the orb went and when you see the orb, it should be over a telepad location. Go ahead and place your first teleporter on that location and then melee or attack the orb. The orb will teleport through the telepad and move to a different teleporter location and you're going to have to look and search the entire map for the other location. Once you find the orb, you're going to want to place down the other telepad on it. Make sure to not accidentally teleport through like I did. But what you're going to want to do is go ahead and injure it again 
and when it goes through you have to go through with it and when you go through the teleporter and you do that cutscene animation you will see the orb go in with you and then disappear once it comes out the other side what you're going to want to do is go ahead and melee or shoot the orb once again and follow it into the storage room and it'll be on top of these bags now what you have to do is stand inside of the circle and get a whole bunch of zombie kills. And you can't stand outside of the circle for too long or else you'll fail and have to restart. But you'll know the canister is done when the circle on the ground has disappeared and lightning will be coming from the canister and you're able to pick it up. Then what you want to do is go to Rushmore, go upstairs and to the buildable location that you had to build the ray guns and go ahead and get the ray gun mark to Y from it. And this ray gun is the explosive version of the ray gun. If you press it, it'll do a small explosion. And if you hold down the ray gun, it'll do a bigger explosion and more damage. All right, so the next ray gun that we're gonna be doing is the ray gun mark to Z. So what you're going to do is go ahead and keep your double pocket punished weapon and have it have the firebomb ability of the double pack punched weapon. Once you have the firebomb ability, you're going to want to look at three different locations in order to shoot with the red smoke coming out of it. You're going to want to go back outside and look for three different locations that is emitting red smoke. So the first location is inside of the greenhouse at this cabinet. The second location is in is downstairs in the kitchen of the yellow house on the cabinet on the right side and the last location is downstairs in the bunker in the diner on one of those cabinets so once you have shot the cabinet that was emitting orange smoke with your firebomb weapon you're gonna want to come back upstairs and look for the chimney with purple smoke now the chimney with purple smoke what you're gonna want to do is have a wraith fire on and throw your wraith fire and throw your wraith fire inside of the purple smoked chimney now you're gonna want to make it land directly inside of the chimney or else it will not work you know it has work when you go down into the house and see that the wood is on fire with purple fire go ahead and interact with it and a purple circle will appear now you're gonna want to once again defend your ground and make sure not to leave the area or else you will fail but if you have to leave because this is a pretty difficult area just make sure that you don't die on this step because dying is a lot worse than having to restart so once you're done defending your ground go and pick up your ammo canister and go back to rushmore upstairs and get the, your new ray gun the next ray gun that we have is the ray gun mark II. Five. It is a laser ray gun that will automatically recharge its ammo. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go down to the Pack-a-Punch once again and Pack-a-Punch your already double Pack-a-Punch weapon to get Kilowatt. Now once you have Kilowatt, you're going to want to go into the generator and there are three different locations for sparks to come out of some control panels. The first location is right next to the perk machine on the left on this panel. The next location is just next to this entrance, just behind this last panel and right on here it's the electricity is honestly pretty noticeable so once you find yours what you're gonna want to do is shoot the panel with your kilowatt weapon until it stops sparking then go ahead and grab your ammo canister once you have the ammo canister what you're gonna do is go back above ground and you'll see these phone line poles sparking okay, what you're gonna want to do is shoot these sparking poles with your kilowatt gun once you shoot it enough it should stay glowing yellow and you're going to want to go ahead and look for more sparking pylons. Once you shoot all the poles, all the different poles will actually connect up with electricity and it'll spark down to this generator. What you want to do is go up to the generator, hold interact with it and another and another circle will appear that you have to hold your ground in and get a whole bunch of kills and make sure not to leave once again or if it or it will fail and you'll have to restart then once you're done filling souls go ahead and grab the canister go back to rushmore second floor and build your ray gun mark two version five and the last ray gun that we have here is the ray gun mark two x and this is a fully automatic ray gun that you can dual wield once pack a punch so what you want to do is with your already double packed pack a punch weapon once again go ahead double pack a punch it and get 
cryo freeze on it once you have cryo freeze on your weapon you're gonna want to head to the prisoner holding cell head to the store and immediately look left at this filing cabinet and it should have a blue smoke misting from it if it is not emitting blue smoke on this cabinet, go ahead and uh, go back outside, go to the APD interrogation area. The smoke should be emitting from this desk. If it's not emitting from this desk, go ahead and go to the operations and go to this filing cabinet and shoot it open. Once you have the ammo canister, you're going to want to go underground and there will be these zombies that were emitting blue smoke. Now what you're going to want to do is shoot the crowd freeze on the guys with the blue smoke coming from them and melee them once they are completely frozen. Don't get too ahead of yourself because it can glitch out. So once your zombie is completely frozen, go ahead and melee it and they will drop this blue goop on the ground. You'll need to pick up three of these blue goops from these zombies. Once you pick them all up, go to the APD control and go to this specific canister and place it in by the control room. Once again, it is a protect your area mission. And once again, you won't want to leave the area unless you are about to die. So when it's finished, go ahead and grab the canister, head back to the second floor of the Rushmore building and you will have your fully automatic ray gun. And now for the technically final ray gun. First thing you wanna do is make sure that you have power and ventilation on and Rushmore is in fact active. Then what you wanna do is earn off 5,000 points to get the Galva Knuckles in the bus and go down into the bunker and find a screen that's all staticky and sounds like this and looks like what's on screen now. Once you find that, you want to grab a zombie and melee it with the Galva Knuckles right next to the screen and it will start saying numbers. What you need to do is write down those numbers in the order that they set it. So for instance, in my game, it said C0645D0515A1200F0830B0300. You'll want to make sure it's in the order that the person on the TV said it and then you'll want to go back upstairs and to the houses. You want to look at each house and look at the mailbox for the letter on the mailbox. So from the main Nuketown area and looking back to our spawn starting area, it'll be left is A, right is B, and then further down the next house on the left will be C, D, E, and F. And E will be the one that we are looking for. If you do not have E on the list like I do, don't worry about it. Just go all the way. Just don't worry about it and I'll explain through it. But if you do have E on the lift, you will have to do the exact same thing as if you don't have E on the list, except you won't have to do it as long. You won't have to do this step as long as the other people that don't. So now that you saw that the mailboxes have letters on them, you want to go to your first set of letter and numbers with that corresponding house. So my first set of numbers was C064A. So I'm going to go to house C and find a clock in the house. It's going to be a small work ticket clock. What you're going to want to do is hold interact on the clock until you make it 645 or whatever your number is. If it's past 12, then you're going to have to convert it from military time to normal time. So for instance, if it was 1830, you would have to make it 630. Now go all the way down your list, all the way up to house E. So if you already have house E in your list, go ahead, do the next clock for house E and to the left, the locker case for the ray gun will unlock and you'll be able to grab it right then and there. For the people that do not have E in their list, you're going to have to continue on with every single code, then go to house E and activate the clock. It'll spin around super quick and the case will unlock for everybody else so that you don't have to worry about doing the numbers on that clock. And that is the ray gun mark two and you don't even have to upgrade it because it's already been pack punched. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed and I really do hope that you learned something from this video on how to get every single version of the ray gun mark two. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy this video and want to see more stuff like this in the future, any more tutorials, gameplay, live streams, whatever it is, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon right next to that so that you don't miss any future videos. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see all of you in the next one.